hello everyone welcome to another great tip video where i'm going to share with you how to grow your natural hair in the short possible time if you are new to my channel you are welcome i'm gifting came so let's get straight into it uh for you to make this uh spray you need to get a very clean glass bottle or jar first ingredient you are using is rosemary leaves now rosemary stimulate hair growth reduces hair fall stimulate blood supply to the hair follicle so i'm going to be taking a teaspoon of the rosemary now the next ingredient i'll be using is fennel seeds fennel seeds are great in vitamins and magnesium as well as calcium and phosphorus and also iron it also helps in preventing hair loss next ingredient which is the best of all is cloves now cloves contain vitamin k that allows blood circulation in the scalp also has potassium that lower the muscles in the scalp also has better carotene for scalp and hair health and of course helps promote hair growth as well as reduces uh hair fall and also gets rid of dandruff now the next thing i'm going to do is add hot water to this ingredient now you can decide to add just warm water and leave it overnight which of course that's 24 hours or use boiling water which of course you're going to use and cover for the next four to eight hours this is going to allow all the benefit from the ingredient uh, to saturate well into the water so I'm stirring this for some few minutes and then I'll cover it and leave it for a few hours I always like explaining methods which you can use in making some of this uh, natural hair spray so there's no one way street when it comes to making some of this ayurvedic hair spray so this is exactly after six hours and this is how the ayurvedic spray looks like you can see how the color has changed and of course how all the ingredients has as uh, you know the benefits has saturated into the water so the next thing to do is to strain this ayurvedic spray now mind you make sure your spray bottle is clean as well as your sieve are also clean this is because you are not going to wash out the spray when you use it in your hair or your scalp also there's another method which you can use is this after getting to this point you can decide to add your essential oil to it if you want to but in this particular video i am not doing that because i have a funnel seed which of course has moisture to my scalp as well so it's also very very optional to use uh essential oils in some of this spray but in this particular video once again i am not using any uh essential oil at all but after spraying this in my hair i'm going to add my moisture through my hair butter which of course is going to seal in all the benefits and all the moisture from this ayurvedic spray let me show you a very quick way to use this spray please make sure that your hair or your scalp is clean whilst using this spray like i said before you're not going to rinse out the spray you're leaving uh the ayurvedic spray in your hair so all the benefits can saturate into your scalp so that is why you need to make sure your scalp is clean before you use the spray. Now, you spray this in your hair follicles very well. And the most important part of this method is that you need to massage your scalp and also use your fingers to detangle your hair in the process. This method is going to help all the muscles in your scalp to... Uh, to also soften up and also make sure your hair grow and also as you use your fingers to detangle your hair that is going to minimize the hair shedding that you get when you are detangling your hair so these are all the benefits uh you get from this uh ayurvedic spray 
in the process again mind you make sure your hair is clean before you use the spray after using the spray you can use your moisturizer your hair butter or your leave-in conditioner to seal in the moisture from the ayurvedic spray after using the spray as well you give your scalp five to ten minutes uh, five to ten minutes massage in your scalp as well this is going to you know relieve scalp irritation and also you know stimulate the blood supply in your scalp and as well as your hair follicles so yes massaging is really really important in this process so guys that's it for this video thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate it if you're new to my channel you're welcome i share tips and also uh diys on how to grow natural hair weekly and of course also if you have any question for me leave them in the comment section i'll leave links to other videos of mine in the description box as well thank you once again for watching i'll see you all in the next video bye